Okay, hi again everyone. This video is specifically for those of you who want to share the leadership of the screen share itself. It's definitely simpler to just have one person uh, hosting the visuals, but if you want to co-present, um, you can definitely do that, and I'll show you how in this video. Okay, so uh, you're going to do everything else as usual, and then you will um, you'll have MC Screen up on on your computer. In this case, my colleague Joy has joined as a participant, and you know she's a participant because you see the F next to her name here. That, that is actually the flash icon, and that's going to disappear later on, but we'll talk about that once we get to it. So uh, Joy is actually uh, my colleague, and she, on this video I'm going to show you how to give her control uh, as a co-presenter. So here is how that works. So there are actually two different ways that I can set her up as a co-presenter. The first way is before the event, if on my screen share, on my conference, under the screen share tab, I can open up that tab and then uh, click on, you see where it says co-presenter? I can grab this URL and copy it, and then I can email or instant message this link to her, and then she would just, uh, she would click on the link, and then she would download MC Screen onto her computer, and that way she would become a, uh, a co-presenter on the screen share. And by the way, the screen share is separate from our regular Maestro conference system with presenters, assistants, and participants. That's a totally different distinction. Okay, the second way that Joy can become a co-presenter on the screen share is by clicking on the Switch to Interactive Meeting button, which is on the upper right-hand corner of her viewer screen. So for, I'm going to use the highlighter. And uh, for participants, that link is going to be all the way up here in the upper right-hand corner above my computer clock. Okay. So Joy's going to go ahead and do that now. And as she does that, you'll see in a moment her name is going to disappear from where it's from the list here on MC screen. Great. Thank you, Joy. As that disappears, so what happened was she just clicked on Switch to Interactive Meeting, and she's now downloading MC screen. Once she's successful in doing that, and I see she's already done it, you see she's back on the screen, but she no longer has the F next to her name. So what that means is she's now become, she's successfully become a co-presenter on the visuals. So what that means is we have a, a couple of additional options for her. One is that anyone who goes through those steps can share their webcam. Okay, as the host, I always have the Start Webcam button here on the right, but uh, participants don't have that option until they uh, turn on the interactive view. So um, that's an option that Joy has on our computer screen that says Start Webcam. Uh, another option is uh, to change presenter. Now, you might have a situation where you want to share your screen, let's say, uh, for the first half of the presentation, and for the second half, you want to turn it over to a colleague to share their screen. So um, how you can do that is you can click on Change Presenter, and now that Joy is the co-presenter here, I can click on Joy, and if I do that, then instead of seeing my computer screen, uh, everyone would be seeing her computer screen. As soon as I click on Change Presenter, it, it opens a pop-up on her computer screen asking if she's ready, and when she says yes, then uh, the view switches to her screen. There's also an option to give control of my mouse uh, to Joy. Um, I, I find usually it, it's more helpful to just change the presenter screen, but if I just want to give her control of my mouse on my computer screen, that's how you do it. Okay, so those are the options for, um, for co-presenter. And then I'll also mention uh, the screen share chat. And that is in the upper left-hand corner. So uh, both for just regular old viewers and for co-presenters, uh, the chat button is, is going to be here. Actually, that's just for viewers. Um, the co-presenters will have a chat built into their interface. So how that works is um, as the host, I can type in a message down here, 
and I can send it to all, or I can just send it to individual people, like in this case, Joy, but I could choose who I want to send it to. In this case, I'll send it to all. I'll just type in a quick message and hit uh, enter, and then uh, that will open up a chat window for everyone who's uh, viewing the screen share. Okay, thanks, Joy. Joy has just responded, as you can see here, and that is the chat. And switching over to a PC to show you the large HD webcam. What this is for is for those of you who are wanting to a higher quality webcam image fixed on a, uh, a whiteboard or some other static screen. It wouldn't be good for having a webcam on someone's face as it usually is um, because um, it's a, a much higher quality uh, image. So how you how you access this tool is on um, it's on a it's a PC only tool, and you just go to the tools menu here, and as you can see, it's start large HD view via webcam. So doing that will will open that up. <laughs> 